Nice and bright outside today. So it is minus 26, March 1st. Just gonna plug in this 986 because we've been spending all winter outside and the boys are back. Normal block here, just like even other, the other vehicles in your is working we just plugged the tractor in this tractor is going to be going inside today we're going to start to, uh, we're going to split this tractor in half and we're going to put the we're going to place a new clutch in it but let's start making some roomy well we just hooked up the booster cable we're going to just boost these batteries we're going to leave this in for a while Positive to positive, negative to negative. We'll leave this thing running. I'm going to take uh, the quads and I'm going to put them in the barn. Look at that puppy, looks so cute there. Well, I think we're going to think that this is going to be our home here for that 986. Let's see if we can get that 986 running. So I'm trying to boost it up. I've had no success over the last half hour. But I think we might have the only option of actually pushing it in, pulling it out, lining it up and pushing it into the shop. See what happens. But I am getting heated up with my coveralls on, my winter coveralls on. I can feel the sweat in my back. I'm also getting a little bit heated up in my mind too. So I think I need to take a little break right now and get all the cobwebs away from my mind. Well, I just went in for coffee. Just needed to take a bit of a break and I want to put my other coveralls, the ones that are not insulated. That's getting pretty warm in them. Uh, so we've had this thing boosted up here and uh, we're gonna actually fill the tire up. Hopefully, maybe by that time, and the time I was out for coffee, maybe it might have boosted the batteries up, put some charge in them. Well, after an hour and a half, truck running, boosting up, I am not having success. So we gotta go with plan B. We're gonna go hook the tractor to the other 986. And we're gonna hook it up to this one. And we're gonna push this tractor in. Well, 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 thank you very much. Okay. Sure, we take it out of park.
got the block heater on and I got the charger on the battery. Those batteries. No, no charger and batteries. So hopefully when I give this bale of silage and one bale of hay to the heifers, we'll be able to start the tractor and put exactly where we need to put it in and then we can park the tractors and everything and then we can start taking that tractor apart. So that is where we're at. Wasn't part of the I am a few hours delayed, but that's okay, that's part of the party. Well, looks like the bulls got the memo. We gave them a bale of silage. Coming back uh, for feed, they had to drink the water. isn't the greatest here anyways I got the tractor split in half already and got the flywheel I'm gonna take the clutch the pressure plate off and the clutch now this thing's been looks like it's been worn out a bit we're gonna to need to get it a new one of these as well so this is a release bearing curious to see how it looks here when we open it up shot well I think even the flywheel is shot a little bit too because there should not be an indentation on there well I called it right this is not what a clutch is supposed to look like well next thing is we got to take the flywheel off got to take it to the machine shop and get that thing uh, resurfaced well this is a better look of what we have here this is our clutch and on our clutch, there's little pads here that the pads are no longer here. So if you can see, and pressure plate has been worn in. It's been steel on steel. And it's not supposed to look that way. The pads are here, almost look like brake pads. Yeah, this is worn just a little bit off left here, but. This side's been worn off completely. It's going right down to the rivets. So they're gonna take this core back and then I'm gonna get another clutch and pressure plate. I'm gonna to have to take this to the machine shop because there is an indentation here of where this clutch was. That's where the clutch sit and it would turn like this here. I don't know if you can see, but this is what the pads are on the new uh, clutch here. This is the new clutch we've got. And you can see how these pads are here. These are what we need on the clutch. So this is the new one, and the other one is the old one. And this is what the new pressure plate looks like. Pressure plate. Nice and smooth, no grooves on there at all. So as you can see, actually, I've ordered the parts. I do need to get the seal is what I need to get yet. So uh, I don't have, they didn't have that. So I'm waiting, it'll be uh, next few days it'll come in. And so I really can't put the pressure plate on, but uh, I can start putting the tractor slowly back together. All right, nice day today. Hi, Willie. He's a cute doggy. Actually, I'm very lucky to get parts. This comes from, uh, from high capacity. They, they have a lot of parts that we can get older tractors, which is really good. We can still operate those older tractors and keeps our farm, keeps our farm running. 
I'm happy.